E. So a lot of stuff is going on in the US and Operation Grizzly is coming up and I've gotten my first list for that to review. And this is from Tripack who got a hold of me on Discord, um, on the Snafu um, podcast uh, Discord. And um, so I'll go through his list and then I also have the first attempt at a list for the Danish Nationals coming in the spring. So let's see it, it all. And um, let's start with a Tripod and his list for Operation Grizzly. So this is a thousand point 12 order dice, dark light division. 12 order dice, I think you can do better. Uh, ideally, I would have 13 to 14 order dice in my lists. So I think that's what we should be aiming at. And the first point where you can save a few points would be the first lieutenant. He's veteran. I know that there are special rules for Operation Grizzly, so this might be a concession to those, but you could save points there. Um, also, does he need to be first lieutenant? Could you not use just a second lieutenant? That would also save you some points. Um, it's always the the um, the trade-off, isn't it? That you want to be able to fulfill the missions that the pack gives you, but at the same time, you want your your lieutenants to be as cheap as possible. Schutz and squads are, go are really good. Look at these. They get the LMG for free, and then you have uh, seven men in a squad. That's a really good skirmish size for 70 points. Brilliant. I Ideally, I would take more than two of these, just because they're so good. Hair yeah, yeah, he's got four Schutz and squad. Perfect. Hair Pioneers, also very good. They need a flamethrower, though. They really need that flamethrower. Um, so ideally, I would cut down on the lieutenant to give them a flamethrower. Inexperienced medium mortar. Ooh, and an 88. Ooh, the 88 is really, really good. Very, very strong, but also expensive. A 222, that's a good light armored car. The Lorraine Slepper. Yeah, that is also good. Look, it can transport six men. No, it has six shots. Okay, right. And the front-facing heavy howitzer. It's only seven plus and open-topped, but that's a that's a <laughs> that's gonna hurt if it hits. Then he's got an uh, ooh. There you can save the points. You don't know. You don't need the SDK of set. Um, you really don't. A heavy field car that would be for the engineers, but they need that flamethrower. That I think would be my suggestion here, Tripack, to to get yourself a flamethrower, and maybe get rid of this half track because it's not massively useful for you. Forty four points out the window, basically, um, and get yourself something that can actually fight. Oh yeah, nice to see the first lists for Operation Grizzly. Good luck uh, to everyone going to that. And if you don't know what Operation Grizzly is, go and watch my video with Jackson on that. Now, the second list here is for the Danish Nationals coming in the spring of 24. Link in the description. And um, this is from Jesper Winter. And he is thinking about maybe bringing his Finns this time. Last time he brought an American army. He's been playing Americans competitively this year. But he's looking back towards his fins and with a little bit of nostalgia, I think. So 1,200 points, 15 order dice. It's a little low, but then the fins, it's always, I mean, you're spending so many points on, on veterans, aren't you? Second lieutenant, regular, single man. Yeah, I think I would equip him with a, a rifle just because fins are so good on ambush with rifles. Continuation or rifleman. Regulars with double Panzerfaust, really dangerous for tanks. Double them. Look at the size also. Eight man units, perfect. Jesper knows how to build uh, fins here. Sissy Recons, again, eight man units, two of those. Master of the Hunt, tough fighters as well, just to keep the enemy at bay. This is your go to stand up, standard setup here. Double continuation wall, double Sissy Recon. Perfect. Perfect setup. And then the Kalkapashos. Look at that. 
that is a death star and a half they of course have that weird rule where they can uh, outflank in your in the enemy's um, back line which is brilliant for taking out that one annoying howitzer 188 points very very expensive but veteran they are medics fanatics as well they've got submachine guns and rifles i mean they're just very 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 dangerous eight man unit yeah a flamethrower team needs a car a sniper team of course you take one of these an anti-tank rifle team yep a heavy mortar a heavy howitzer Ooh, both a heavy mortar and a heavy howitzer wow someone is playing with the big boys here a BA-20, not as dangerous as the BA-20 with the flamethrower turret. I, I don't know I would take this one. A Postuna tank, yeah, that is a good tank. Especially for the uh, for the Finns, who don't really have darker vehicles as such. This is a darker vehicle, and it brings you the third HE shot in your list, in your one platoon here, because it has a light howitzer. And then it has coaxial MMG and two turret mounted MMGs. This is a really good pick for the Finns and for Soviets, basically. It's a combination of a darker tank with a howitzer tank. Brilliant. Horse drawn limber for the gun. Yep, inexperienced. And a truck. Not necessary, I think. What would you put in that truck? For me, I, I just want the flamethrower to have a, 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 a smaller vehicle of some sort. But you could maybe put something, I mean, the flamethrower in and then the lieutenant and maybe one of these continuation wars riflemen. You could do that and then outflank them. Would be a very, very dangerous outflanker, wouldn't it? So, lovely to see the fins coming back here. And I think that that has to do with the pack for the Danish nationals, which... Um, I think favors minor nations a little bit, a little bit. Um, right, gentlemen, thank you so much for the lists and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.